I am I am man I am you mother chod yes mother chod khangi ka ladka tera machinal yo 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 tera machinal yo yo mera naam yo yo tera ndi ka bachcha tera khangi ka ladka tera maa ko chodenge bina condom ka yeah tera ndi ka jana na na tera machida uh, this is your mom sound I recorded. Ah. Sorry, can we start from the beginning? Yes. Your name was Bob? Bob right? Stone, yes sir. Bob Stone. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Bob. Yes. So I have confirmed your refund amount. It's four ninety nine ninety nine and it's scheduled to be processed for ad immediately. So let's go ahead for your refund. Now okay. I hope you are in front of your computer at the moment. Uh no, my computer's in front of me. I am at my computer, yes. <laughs> All right, sir. So I want you to simply go ahead and let me know what do you see on your screen at the moment. Are you uh, in your browser well, watching? Your yeah, it's it says Ultra Viewer new version. Ultra Viewer. Okay, you can X out your Ultra Viewer and simply open up a brand new tab on your browser. So I can uh, guide I just you. Just need to your open device. up a new tab. Beers and boy. W as in whiskey. W as in whiskey. Then a dot or a period. Uh, daughter, okay. Then C as in Charlie. Yep. The number two, the number four. Uh huh. Then a dot or a period. Same thing. H as in Harry. H as in Harry. E as in Echo. E as in Echo. L as in Lima. Linda. P as in Paul. E as in Paul. And hit enter. Enter. Uh, you should redirect you for your confirmation. Code. Enter service code. Service the... code. Yes, sir. Please take down your service code. You ready? I I, I have it. I think it's geek 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 nine three three seven eight. That is your refund. Six. I have got your service code generated for you, your unique one for you. Please write this down. Type it on your screen. Oh, so it's not. Oh, wait. Okay. So it's seven. Yeah. Four, four, four. The number five. five. So seven, triple four, five. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry. Hey, Once you have a... that in, you can hit on the blue icon arrow. For your service uh, codes to be activated, so you should see it downloading for you as support line dot exe. Oh yeah, the thing there, yeah. You do it okay. Uh, now you got to double click on it for it to go ahead and start your cancellation request. It says downloading code. screen connect client. Yes, sir. Uh, you have successfully connected to your session. Alrighty. Now, once your session is connected, you should be having your joining session page come up, correct? Yeah. yeah. All right. I want you to simply now minimize everything that you have open and go back to your home screen or your regular desktop page. We have you want me, to, you want me to exit or on my keyboard? Yeah. Correct. I want you to hold that down along with the letter R, R as in Robert. R as in Robert. All right. Okay. There's a. Go ahead and immediately. This is run. Type the name of a program. Yeah. Yeah. So you need to type on your command prompt or your search column right there. C as in Charlie. Yeah. M as in Mary. M as in Mary. Love Mary. Love D as Mary. in David. Uh, D as in David or Dex. Yeah. Yeah. Then you can hit on enter, or you have an option for OK. Click on that. That'll open oh. up your command prompt or a black color screen for you, correct? Uh, yeah, it's opened up a, th oh. yeah. Now, in that black screen, that is your cancellation server. So you'll have to fill in your refund ID for it to start programming your cancellation so that we can generate your refund. So you have, you have your refund ID handy with you. Make sure to type it in there. Uh, right, the refund ID is G. E E K nine three three seven eight six zero. 
Okay. Once you have that in, you can hit on Control C or the CTRL key simultaneously uh, with C. C. Here we it. Okay. Screen. Is it your browser or you're still on your camp? No, it's there? still on the it's still on the black window. It's still on your black window. Okay, you can X out of your black window, please. Okay. Your Google Chrome browser or your Microsoft browser, come up, please, down. Uh, I have my, uh, sorry, Google. I have Google. You Google, okay. Now, once you have your Google opened up, on the left-hand top corner, you'll see a search column. Please type in your search column. T as in Tom. D T as, as in David. T D. L as David. in Lima. T D L. Org. O as in Oscar. R as in Randy. G as in George. Org. O R G. Correct. Org. Org. Sorry. Org. T D. Whatever you like. T D L Solution dot org. Correct. Hit enter. Right. It should be redirected uh, now. Turn the key for your refund. Enter. Four ninety nine ninety nine is your refund pending amount. Correct. Uh, yes. All right. Now, once you hit enter, do let me know what just come up on your end. So I can better business, you better business bureau, the better business CEO, better business by better community. Right. Uh huh. Since this is an unauthorized charge on your Geek account, you weren't aware of this recent transaction. So all unauthorized subscriptions are regulated via the Better Business Bureau. So they're going to be monitoring and sending the payments, not Geek itself, correct? Okay. Uh, if you scroll to the very top of your page on the extremely right-hand top corner, you should see your header files for you, like home, refund, file a complaint, news, and more. Uh, oh, at the top? Uh... Oh, Correct. refund on news. On the top right hand side. Yeah. What do I need to do? File. What am I looking for? File a complaint. Since you're looking for a refund, you need to hit on refund. Oh, refund. Okay. Cancellation policy. Okay, what's the policy? Right. All of... I want you to simply go through your cancellation policy since you've already filled in your criteria for it with the technical department. A dollar amount. Yep. Email J. Okay, it says choose one online or yeah, on a uh, check-in, a chicken account. Yeah, whichever account you want your refund on, you'll have to choose that. And then submit. Now, before you submit, please double check your form whether you verified it correctly. Because based yeah, on these info, we are going to check if you're eligible for a refund. So you have your full name in there, with your full address, city, state, zip. Oh, okay. Amount, yeah, I didn't validated for four ninety nine ninety nine, and the rest of the information as well. Please double check it. Yeah, I didn't put the full address in. Sure, take it out. Right, I did that, 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 that. Yeah, I did that. If it looks all good, then you can finally hit submit where you'll have 95% of your payment processing verification done. Now, once you hit submit, you should be redirected if you're eligible to your bank for your login verification, so you can mm -hmm. accept your refund. So before you hit submit, double check your information. Well, it's so taking me to my... I'm sorry, it took me to my bank. Do I log in? It took you to your bank. Okay, great. You can go ahead now and log into your account. Once you're done logging in, do let me know so I can initiate your refund request. Uh, right. Okay. I said check an account. Okay. I haven't received anything from you yet. So we haven't initiated your payment yet. Once you're logged into your account, you should be able to view your account up in front of you. Right? Uh, yes. I am looking at my okay. check an account. So you're looking at your checking account. Now, before we initiate your refund, we make sure so that you log in to view your account as your standing current balance for today. So make sure to write that down on a piece of paper. That way, once you get your refund, you can tell the difference between the both balances before and after your transfer. So please note yeah, down whatever so well, you have. Do not share it. With. It's only going to be another 400 well, nearly $500. So, so. Exactly. Yeah, so why do I need to write this down? We make you write this down so it's that, that many customers different. are not as smart as you 
they wonder where they have got the payment they don't know what the initial balance and the balance after the refund is that's why we make you write it down so okay. write down whatever your balance is and also the last four of the account details that you have for your checking as you've chosen that for your refund once that um, is done do let me know i will start initiating your instant wire transfer yeah i have to know 9833 and 8 cents 116 that's not necessary for you to call out your amount online cuz all our lines are recorded for training and security purpose that's confidential information just for you so you need to write that down not call it down uh yeah i yeah sorry i i i did that i didn't re realize i didn't yeah particular device of yours is it more uh, than 10 years more than 5 years or is it a more recent device no i had this for about 2 years i got this off a friend yeah ras she sells a lot of electricals and uh this was like in a flea market that she was doing so it was pretty i i it was only what 300 dollars so and that was with the the mouse the keyboard uh the screen and well the monitor and the yeah the whole thing 300 dollars and it's really good to be honest it's been good for Three years, so. So you got this from approximately three years, and is it a desktop or like? It's a desk. A no, it's a desktop. No, it's a desktop. Or laptop. And apart from Geek Squad, are you taking security from anyone else? Uh, for what? My computer or my home? For your computer, sir. Uh, no. I recommend you do take securities because this day and age you need internet security because everything is digital. Your banks used to be. is physical now that's also digital everything is digital right now so it's better to have security yeah 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 i will, i will look so at i want getting... you to be handy with a pen and a paper sorry to interrupt so that way i can give you your unique confirmation code as soon as your software is complete updating okay uh yeah okay i have i have pen and paper anyway because i had to write down the available balance it usually takes about 2 uh, to 5 minutes depending on how recent your device is and if the software is not compatible with your device then you will be having like a time limit so if you have a 64 bit computer then it usually takes around 5 minutes if it's 32 32 bit system it takes longer so you have a processing time to it i think this is six, this is 64 bits i think that's what ras said anyway this should have all the uh, yeah i i don't really know too much about computers but i know this is a a fairly good computer for what it is yeah Yes, I'm so sorry, Jack. The line got disconnected. We're just having some technical issues on our end, which is why I was just trying to call you back. Can yeah, you hear me like, loud and clear? Yeah, I hear you. I was like talking, and then the next minute the line went dead in my hand. I was like, "Hello." I'm sorry about that, sir. Are you still on the confirmation page for your software update? Uh, yeah, it says software is updating. Don't turn off your computer. Yeah. Well, once your software is complete updating, yeah. you should be redirected onto BBB Banking Server page. Well, ask uh, you to verify your refund amount before your payment. Okay. So there you need to type in just your refund amount, which is four ninety nine ninety nine. Make sure not to put in any dollar symbol or any period of spaces while you're typing in your refund amount. Because it's sorry, four four characters and symbols. I'm sorry, four ninety nine ninety nine. Correct. Four hundred ninety nine dollars. So I so I correct. so I have to put a decimal point between the ninety nine and ninety nine. Otherwise, no, it's, it's going to be way. Well, that's forty-nine thousand. That wouldn't. That doesn't make any sense. No, sir. That's not forty-nine thousand. That's four hundred ninety-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. That's how it's put into the banking server page because it doesn't accept any special symbols and characters. So, for four hundred ninety-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents, you put in four nine 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 nine. And okay. if you want to put in forty nine thousand, then you put four nine 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 nine. Okay, so you yeah, should be yeah, redirected yeah. onto BBB banking server. Once you have that come up, do let me know. Oh yeah, there's a oh damn, there's a thing there. Uh, it says enter. Please enter your name. All right. Uh, so put in your uh, the way your name is put on your account, your legal name. Put that in. I did that. Jack Tripper. Hit enter. Uh, enter. Enter your phone number. Uh, three. And uh, do I hit enter all the time? 
Yes, you hit enter. Uh, enter your zip code seven seven. The last four digits of the debit card. What? The last four of your debit card, which is linked to your checking. Uh, one zero. Five zero. You don't have to call it out to me. You just have to fill it in. First. No, I. It's so hard to see. It's like, it's like a really, really bright green. It's really freaking hard to see, the thing. So. Oh. Uh, into the refund amount. Do I do a dollar sign? No dollar symbol. No period. No spaces. Keep that in mind. Four nine nine. Right. Yeah. Wait a second. I'm seeing a disputed transfer being initiated. Have you finished putting in your refund amount? Yeah, it says for. Oh, wait a second. Oh, it's doing an update again. Outgoing wire transfer for just the amount that you had mentioned earlier, forty nine thousand. Now, did, oh, what's going sorry? on? Sorry, did you do this intentionally? No. Wait. What? Excuse me. I'm seeing an outgoing wire transfer from our business server at the moment. You should be redirected immediately to your account. How many nines did you put in there? I told you it's just four nine nine. I only, put, I only put two in. I put four nine nine. I said to you four nine nine to confirm, and then uh, I, that's all I typed. Wait, wait, on wait, our wait, wait, wait. It says online, online bank transfer. Why I transferred from B, uh, the BBB? Exactly, sir. That's what I'm trying to be letting you know that I'm worried about this transfer being coming out of our server oh directly onto your account. Chuck Norris. Because there's been a disputed charge immediately from your end. So while you were typing in your refund amount, how many nines did you get in there? Because in our server it shows Two. you have put in six nines. How many? So that's, yeah, this shows that's four nine 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 nine. So I hope you didn't do that's that intentionally because that would be a serious crime. No, I only did now, two nines. I did. Directed. Relax. I did. Okay, just give me a moment. You need to relax. Calm down. I, I I did I I, I was verifying it with you. Um, I was verifying it with you. I said four nine nine, and then you said nine nine. Uh, oh my god, I'm so I'm so confused. You did verify it with me that how many nines do I need to put in? Otherwise, it becomes forty nine thousand. So I told yeah. you it's just four nine nine. nine yeah, I only nine, typed so in two. Nine, I only four. typed in two. I typed in four nine nine. And then I said to you, 499, and you said yes. I didn't type anything else. But on our server, it shows that 69 has been entered in there, which is why almost 50,000 has this been six or nine. onto your checking account. Do you see any incoming wire One, transfer two, three, from four, BBB five. on your end? Yeah, it says 49,000 right there. 49,000 oh. online wire oh, transfer from the, right. the BBB. Why would you do such a thing? Alright, I want you to quickly note down whatever your available balance is on a piece of paper. Quickly. Oh my, uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, shit. Uh, do I put a dollar sign? 59. Uh, 833. Oh, 07. Gee. Oh my lord. Oh my god, cheese and crackers. Nine 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 nine. Nine 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 nine. Have oh, you written down you... the balance? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now I want you to immediately let me know was this done by any intention? Because I'm not trying to put any type of blame on you or accuse you of a wire fraud. Because well, it sounds like you are transaction, the second one on your account. We need to make sure to get this fixed immediately. If not, your accounts can get closed or frozen. No, I didn't. I didn't do this on. I didn't do this on purpose. No, I. I typed in four nine nine. I didn't type anything else. But now there's forty nine thousand dollars in my account. Exactly, sir. That's what I'm trying to immediately get cleared out. Now, you didn't do that intentionally or you didn't do anything on purpose. No, no, that no, of course not. That's the reason why we haven't taken any strict actions on your account. Because you were just trying to get your refund and not trying to rip the BBB. All right? Now, right, yeah. first and foremost, you need to understand these three More instructions. Otherwise, you can get in trouble like even if it is not your mistake. Because right now, the funds are in your account and you are the 
owner of that fund. So if anyone yeah. asks question where these funds went, they will ask you. Oh my god! I want gosh. to make sure that no one blames you for anything, so we can get 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 this cleared out immediately. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. The first and foremost thing, what right. I need you to do is, I want you to immediately log out of your account. Do not use your online banking until I tell you to do so. Okay. Right. Okay. Have you logged out? Yeah, I logged out. Now, second thing, what I want you to know is, nine, nine, since nine, your nine. account with Bank of America is linked with the refund department of the BBB, which means you have access to their server and to their funds. So if there is any dispute, it will be made onto your account. We don't want any further dispute. So do not use your online banking temporarily from any of your devices, iPad, cell phone, or your computer. Wait, Second, can I wait? Oh wait, I'm 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 a bit confused. Um, why would the Better Business Bureau send a a, a, a refund and not Geek Squad? That is because you have an unauthorized charge from Geek Squad. So Geek Squad is an antivirus company, just like McAfee, Norton. Yeah, but North, what's that got to do with the Better Business so Bureau? If there is any, so the, apart from the new regulation and amendment for cyber security, any unauthorized right. subscription charges or suspicious charges is now being directly regulated under the BBB. Oh, so okay, that makes that sense. Been, yes. Yeah, exactly. my friend Darko, so he used to work for the BBB. Yeah. From the BBB and not Geek Squad directly. Now, uh -huh. the second thing is make sure not to turn off your computer because you are linked directly to the banking server of the BBB and you can right. access their funds. Make sure not to turn it off. So if you have a system reboot or your computer turns off and comes back on, yeah. you can get another new deposit regenerated onto your account, which we do not want. Is that clear? Yeah, no, no. Well, how can that work if my if I'm logged out of my bank though? It will regenerate exactly. another forty nine thousand. Because if you get logged 50, out of your account, then our funds get frozen as well, just like your accounts get frozen, which right. we do not want at any time. Now what yeah, I'm going no, to no. do is. I'm going to go ahead and discuss this with my colleagues in the wire department and oh, make wow. sure to find a suitable option to get you out of this mess without causing any further problems, okay? Now, you're not, you're not a thief. You're not a person who's trying to rip anyone off. So you got nothing to worry about. But yes, if this is not fixed on time, then things can get complicated for you, okay? Cheese, Don't worry, I'm on your side and I'm here for you. So account. you can just relax. And right now, you need to do nothing, okay? Do not okay. touch your computer. Do not go. Just stay by your phone while I talk to them and get a solution right now. All right? Yeah, yeah, no, that's absolutely fine. Yeah, I could do that. Exactly. Thank you so much for being so patient with me, and I'll make sure to get this quickly wrapped up for you so you don't have to be in the situation any longer. Neither do I have to be. Yeah, it's a okay. really unique situation for both of us, and uh, I understand it can be nervous for you. So just relax while I get back in the morning, okay? Yeah, right. okay, thank you. On the other phone. Yep. Can you please confirm me your last name? Is it Tripper, T as in Tango, R as in Roger, I as in India, P as in Parrot, P as in Parrot, E as in Echo, R as in Roger. So that's yes. Tripper, right? Yes, yes, yes. And, and the account with your Bank of America, is it a personal or a business account that you have with them associated? Uh, it's a personal account. It's a personal account. That's all I yep. needed for now. I'll be back with you in a moment. Once I have the confirmation details, okay? Please stay on the line. Okay, thank you. Oh my god, I can't believe this. Everything under control. Now, yeah. I want you to please confirm the exact time at your place at the moment. Uh, it's 3.05. 3.05, okay. And do you know what time your bank closes? 4. 4 o'clock, alright, sir. I want you to please confirm approximately how far is your bank branch from you the one that you usually visit. uh it's only it's on highway six it's like five four minutes five minutes away four to five minutes away okay not a yeah. no problem now i'm just going to talk to our wire department so that they can send me the verification documents and the account where you need to send the funds to now since this is an unauthorized subscription charge and an unauthorized wire transfer on your account now bbb is an international uh, business organization so the funds that you have received is from their international business server. So in the meantime, let me know, are you ready and dressed so that you can head out? Yeah, to your of course. I, yeah, of course I am. It's like nearly five past three. What do you think? I'm lying around naked. Of course I'm dressed. 
Okay, not at all a problem, sir. I just wanted to confirm that. I'll be giving you the account information shortly. Just give me a moment. International? Uh, okay, that's no problem, yeah. Just the quicker I can get this done, the quicker I can get it back to you. It's just a real hindrance, and I'm so sorry. I understand, sir. You're a true gentleman, and I really appreciate your concern. Yeah, of course I do. I, I, I've written each and everything down that you've told me to write down. I have the Geek Squad number, uh, your name. Uh, I had the available balance and now the fucked up available balance. Yeah. Okay, great. Now, I just want you to write down the amount that you received and take away your refund amount from that. So a quick calculation. So that's $49,999. $49,999, take away uh, $499.99 is $49,500? Yes, now there's going to be a wire transfer fees of $45, so you need to include that as well. So $49,400 Fifty-five dollars is what you're supposed to return back. Wait, wait, say that again. Forty, forty, forty-nine thousand four five five is what you return back. Four five five. Okay, and that's wait. It's only forty dollars, which is uh, domestic is only forty dollars transfer fee. Uh, domestic is twenty-five dollars, and international. No, no, domestic. No, domestic is uh, $40. International is 45 but I can't do international transfer. Uh, you can't do international transfer? Why is that? I, 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 I need an appointment with the bank, and it's too late to get an appointment now. To do international transfer, you have to get an appointment with the bank, and then I have to fill out the, the ID10T form and the A300. Uh, to declare where I'm sending the money to if it's international. No, no, sir. I think you're getting that mixed up for something else. You do not need an no. appointment. You can yes, do I a do. walk-in international no. fire transfer. No I, no, I know my bank. I know I've been with my bank for the last five years, and it's only been the last so many months with the, the war that's going on with Which the Ukraine. Which two forms do you need to fill in? Please confirm me. The ID10T form and the A300, the, I think it's the IRA, uh, IRS. A three hundred, the A three hundred and the I D as in David. Yeah, I can't I remember. What, form. Yeah, I can't remember what the name of the form is, but I have to fill out those forms because there's uh, all kinds of shit. It's it's because there's the money laundering, the uh, uh, drug drug trafficking, and all this shit. that now put on a, a stamp I on that see. anybody who has. Uh, or is going to do international transfer, I have to, they have to fill out this form to say that they're not sending money to, like, over to, yeah, you know what I mean? It's really bad lately, really bad. I could do domestic transfer anytime, that. but I just can't do international without a... Uh, well, without, basically, uh, you receive the funds from the international wire transfer server. There used to be a highlighted amount, which was ten thousand dollars, which has to be reported to the IRS for any. Yeah, and no, anything so over ten. Th yeah, anything account. over ten thousand dollars has to be uh, declared through the bank, which I have to fill out the ID one zero T four and the A three hundred. Yeah, I can't do anything over that without filling out the forms. And if I'm going to send anything more than ten thousand, I need an appointment. So I will have to give my bank a call now. And make the appointment and see if they have any okay. available appointments for today okay can you just uh, give them a call from your alternative line if you have one and keep me on this so that way i can listen to the whole conversation okay put on speaker and try Sorry? to get the earliest appointment i'm not having you on the, on the i'm not having you on the fly while i'm calling my bank are you serious no you need to call your bank to book an appointment. yeah i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna call my bank i'm gonna yes listen listen I am so going to call my bank. I'm sorry, you keep speaking yeah. over me, and that's kind of rude. I'm so sorry. Go ahead. What were you saying? I, I have not spoken over you once. I'm trying to listen and help you get this money back, and I'm trying to explain to you. I will call my bank. I'm going to give my bank a call now, but I won't be having you all listening to the whole of the call. So 
Let me just call here. I, I don't need to listen you to have your reached phone. Bank of America this hotline. Is this is call will be recorded for quality and monitoring purposes. For check-in accounts, dial 1. For business accounts, dial 2. For credit or prepaid cards, dial 3. To report loss of card, dial 4. Uh, I'm just to gonna report put you on a transaction, mute while I dial talk. 5. Yes, Hello? I'm right, yeah. Yeah, the lady I'm speaking to said that I, I can't get an appointment for tomorrow. You can get for tomorrow. What time earliest? Just book an earlier slot and let me know. Okay, one second. Okay, tomorrow I have an appointment tomorrow, uh, 2 p.m. 2 Hello? p.m. 2 p.m. is too late. Yeah, 2 p.m. That's the only, that's the only appointment the they've got. That's the earliest appointment they've got. Or it can be Thursday at uh, 9.30. 9.30 a.m. On Thursday, yeah. Uh, well, why don't you call a different branch and try for an appointment? Because the, the this listen, this is my nearest branch. The next branch is like thirty-five minutes away, forty minutes away. So, so as I said, problem, why don't you just call and see if you can? Because I'm not driving thirty-five minutes. Because so I'm not driving thirty-five minutes away. I can. Why doesn't so Bank can, of America? Why I doesn't that you want to get this resolved immediately? Yeah, today, I know. And yeah, I'm, and I'm I'm sure I'm sure your company away. have a but domestic. If you're going to wait right till two p.m. tomorrow morning, it's yeah. better that you go to the bank nine thirty or ten o'clock if they get a better appointment. And on get Thursday, the okay, I can I can I, if I have to call them up and do it for Thursday Thursday morning, I'll do that then. Okay, that's fine. No, sir. Until um, that time, we cannot uh, you know trust for someone to have such a huge deposit from the BBB onto their account. Right. You need to get it released immediately by tomorrow or by today. So I recommend you. I can do it. Brand. I could do if it was domestic. I could do it today. I, it'd take me twenty minutes if it was domestic. Well, uh, uh, there's but nothing I can do. International branch. Listen, there. So listen, listen. The there is nothing I can customer. do. We'll have to uh, listen to the policy. Hello. Don't hang up on me again, okay, Jack? Otherwise, I have. Well, to listen to me. Listen. There, I cannot yeah, so tell my, my bank. No, 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 no. You're not listening to me. Hello? Hello? Are you just trying to play games? Or you've, uh, you've planned no, if, listen, if you're going to continue, if you're going to continuously, <laughs> if you're going to continuously talk over me, then I'm not entertaining. I please will try continue. and... Please go talk. Go ahead. I, listen, okay. I can, there is no way I can physically tell my bank I need an earlier appointment. The earliest appointment, she said, is tomorrow at 2 p.m. Now, apart from that, I can do Wednesday at 9 p.m. I am not driving 35 to 40 minutes cross town to another bank. To another bank. I have work in like less than an hour. I did not know this was going to happen. Okay, yeah, I messed up on the form. There's nothing I can do about that. I want to get you your money back. But well, I have work. I have a real life. I have things to do. I have I have to get to my job in less than an hour. I'm not driving 45 minutes to another bank to get this done. I can either do it tomorrow morning. Uh, sorry, tomorrow afternoon, Wednesday morning, or if if you have. If, I don't understand why you don't have a domestic account because surely your company Geek Squad is in the United States. So the funds hasn't come to you from Geek Squad. It's come to you from best, uh, from BBP. Yeah, and the Better Business Bureau is based in in the United States. The Better Business Bureau is based in the United States. The best Better Business Bureau is not is not based internationally. It is actually no, it's not. No, it's not. State companies are now operating internationally, so that is why they are regulated and monitored globally. So for that reason, I was confirming with you. Now, since your local branch, which is five miles to ten miles away. No, oh, it's I not. Think. It's not that five miles to ten miles. It's five minutes. It's not five it's miles five to ten minutes. miles. Right. So the branch, which is your local branch, is five minutes away. They yeah. cannot hold an appointment before two. That's what you said. Right. So yes. That's the instead of waiting till two in the afternoon, if you can go to a branch which is at a different location, same Bank of America, but if they give you an appointment, let's say ten in the morning, so you can get your work finished at ten in the morning instead of waiting another day. Because the longer no. you wait, you can have more disputed charges on your account, which can have your account frozen. So for that reason, we need to get this wrapped up immediately. That is the urgency, okay? Well, unfortunately, I have an appointment for 2 p.m. That's the you best have an I'm... appointment at 2 p.m. Okay, that's yes. not a problem. Why don't you just give a call to the other branch and see if you can get an appointment for earlier? If you can, then you can cancel your 2 o'clock I, appointment. I have an appointment. The, uh, I have an appointment. I have an appointment. I have an appointment for 2 p.m. 
I don't understand you what have an the appointment. A- so you're going to yeah. stick with your work. I, you have no intentions of returning the funds back, right? I have There's an no appointment. I'm, I'm, I'm so, and it's going what do you mean? I have no intentions of returning the money. It, now you're just chatting shit. Frozen. My accounts what? Your accounts will get frozen if you do not agree to have the payments sent before two p.m. Well, I'll, well, I'll speak. I'll speak to my bank about that then. Frozen. I'll speak to my bank about that then. I'll speak. Is there something wrong with your hearing? I'll speak to my bank about that then. Because I don't know why my account will be frozen. So I want you to go ahead and log into your online banking. As no, a, I'm not, no, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay, no, okay, right there. no okay. I'm not logging into anything. No. Go ahead. No. Your account should be frozen. Go ahead. No. No, I'm not logging into anything. No, I will make the appointment for tomorrow. I well, I have the appointment for two o'clock tomorrow. Um, you can either accept that or not. Otherwise. See, we do not have any proof that you have an appointment for tomorrow because you muted the whole conversation. I'm not even sure if you call the bank to book an appointment. Of course so I call the bank, you idiot. And I do not believe a single word that she's saying. Oh, okay. so right. So unless you have proof that you have an appointment for 2 p.m. tomorrow, yeah. or you can get an earliest appointment, otherwise you'll have to take legal actions on your business and your personal account immediately. Okay, okay you do that then. Great, we're going to go ahead and do that. You can go ahead and log into your account and see no, all your accounts. No, okay, no, okay, no. And no, I'm, I'm sorry, I, listen. Complete, we'll go ahead and fight it in court. No. And I think you're trying to just rip us off, and this whole thing was planned from the start by you. I'm sorry? Are you calling me a thief? Exactly, that's what I'm trying to do. How dare you? How dare you? Or any you horrible man, how dare you? Hello? What's Hello? going on there, Jack? Are you going to just keep playing How dare you call me a thief? How dare you call me a thief? Different excuses of not returning it back. I haven't made any what excuses. I have not made any excuses. How you, dare you call me a thief? I have done exactly everything that you've asked me to do. No, you I, you that. asked me to give the bank. I, I made the you appointment for tomorrow. There's, there's only one available appointment for tomorrow. I made the appointment. No, I have the appointment for tomorrow. Another appointment with a different no. Bank. Why? Do you, do you, do I, listen, I have a life. Do you not have a life? I, I have a life. I have a life, but this is top priority. Your life will be ended if you don't have any funds in your account. If you have is that a threat? Money is that a threat? It, how can is you have a threat? life? You have mortgages, you have payments. To is, that a threat? Out, is that a so threat? This is top priority. Is that a threat? A my threat. life? It's, it's a fact. It's a fact. A fa- my life is, you're going to end my life? If you be 50,000 before 2 p.m. tomorrow and you don't make an effort to do that, then you're going to be having nothing on your name. Okay, so I, you okay, so now you're asking, threatening me. You have to be down so now you're threatening my life. You like, but you're, now exactly. you're threatening my life. So I'm going to call the Better Business Bureau and tell them that you're threatening my oh, life. For sure. So you are talking to the Better Business Bureau. So I think you're a bogus. No, you're the Geek Squad. You're the Geek Squad. What are you talking about? You're the Better Business Bureau. You were the... talking to. How may I help you? Hello. Yes. So you were talking to you were talking to Geek Squad earlier for your cancellation. So that was the technical team. You were transferred to Better Business for your... No, I, no, your I was not. Which we have no, done I was not. Correct. Yes, you were. No, exactly I was... Nobody were. once so said to me... That because nobody so once said to me... For training and about, purposes, and we have no. everything monitored, so you cannot escape from the pact. I think you're trying to rip the BBB off, so you are a thief unless you, until you prove it innocent. I no, no, you are, I, you, I think you you're a liar. You're a liar. And you're a liar. You are you're a liar. Until the payment has been sent out. You, you are, are a liar. liar. You're a liar. Unless Not one person has said to me, I am I on the phone with the Better Business Bureau. You have spoken. If you're going to keep talking to me, I'm just going to hang up. Not once has anybody said that I am talking to Better Business Bureau. You are, you are the manager from the Geek Squad. Hello? Yes, Mr. Jack. Right. Hello? Yes, Mr. Jack. Can you hear me? Yeah, is this? Who's this? This is Bob Stone. You just left a voicemail. I'm returning your call. What's going on? Yeah, well, I couldn't see my computer. I couldn't. It said it was doing updates and there was a blue screen on my computer. Okay. Right, now I have my computer back. I, I don't, yeah, I don't know what was happening. Yeah, as I mentioned earlier, since and unless and until you don't have the funds cleared onto the BBB server, your yeah. account and your computer is going to be linked onto their business server. So you'll have the software update coming up. So you said you have an appointment for 2 p.m. tomorrow morning, correct? No, tomorrow afternoon. Not tomorrow morning, tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon. afternoon. I'm sorry about that. All right, I'll give you a call at 1.30 tomorrow afternoon so that okay. we can go ahead and discuss about the payment and have it clear tomorrow, okay? 
Right. Until okay. that, make sure not to use your online banking. Do not turn off your computer and keep this whole matter confidential because we haven't well, no, reported no, anything. No, no, what? I've just looked. No, wait, I've, I've what just looked at my. Now? I've just looked at my bank. Yeah. I've just your been on my bank. Zero. Yes. Your no, it's not zero. zero. So it no, it's not zero. No, I've just looked at my account on my savings and my checking account. You transferred money from my savings account to my checking That's account. That's what you think. No, that is a disputed transfer. Exactly. So that is a disputed charges. You're no, saying. it's Tomorrow not. Tomorrow morning we're going to have that cleared, okay? No. Until you... then, all your accounts are going to be down to zero and frozen. And no, they're fine. No, so they're I'll fine. I'll call you tomorrow at 1.30. Yeah, okay. Call me tomorrow then. Yeah. Fucking idiot. I am... I am man. I am. You mother showed yes, mother showed Kangi color ka tera machinal. Yo, yo, yo tera machinal. Yo, yo, mera naam. Yo, yo, tera andi ka bachcha. Tera Kangi color ka. Tera maa ko chodenge bina condom ka. Yeah. Tera andi ka jana na na tera machida a a. Tera machida a a. You mother showed yes, mother showed. You have the biggest package. You have the biggest package right now. You have the premier package. Tera machida yo yo. Mera naam yo. You wanna know what scam is? Scamming. You're scamming your computer. You just pull up and crash it gently. Tera andi ka jana na. No, there are much. This is your mom sound. I recorded. Nah.